KYT family, how's it going? Um, I hope everybody's saying good. I am subscribed to a lovely lady on here uh, called Glamming Ain't Easy. And today Glamming Ain't Easy did a new video and the new video was titled uh, YouTube Clicks. Um, I wanted to do a video response on it. I didn't uh, leave a comment, but I also wanted to do my video response on it. She didn't ask us to do the video response, but I wanted to express my um, opinion more uh, broadly, more freely. And I fi figured a video would um, be better for this occasion. So I say that to say this. I want to put a disclaimer on this, and that is that the opinions addressed in this video is my opinion and my opinion only. You may agree or disagree and you can do that um, in your comment. As long as it's um, constructive criticism, I have no problem with it. If it's rude or disrespectful to me or any way, I will delete your comment. And I may or may not block you from my channel, depending how you know out of hand the situation gets. Um, I've been here uh, on YT long enough, and I know some of you have, to see where, you know, discussions and people's opinions can get out of hand because people don't agree with it. So that's why I wanted to do the disclaimer. Okay, so let me get right into the subject now. Um, all my life, growing up as a kid, there have always been cliques around me. Um, at school when I was growing up as a kid, when I went to um, college, um, at work, even at church, there are cliques. And around these cliques are always their admirers, people that aspire to be them, people that um, would like to be in the clique and would like to be accepted, people who, for whatever reason, wanted to be part of these cliques. So when I got here on YT, um, I started off in 2009. This is my second channel. And um, with my first channel, I noticed it right off, but I don't think I really thought anything of the clicks um, because it's like a second nature type of thing. It was something that I was used to in my life. So, of course, I come here on YT. We are all you know people different people but you know we all have the same type of different qualities and you know what not so I expected and I did see it but I didn't pay much attention to it when I kind of noticed it a lot was with um, a lot of the gurus or people that call themselves gurus uh, people that had a lot of subscriptions like had 5,000, 6,000 subscribers, or maybe a couple of hundred, but they had enough where a lot of people were tuning into them. And I did notice that um, after a while, um, some of these people would not respond to everybody. And I just assumed it's because they had so many people that are subscribed to them, it would be hard for them to subscribe, I mean, to answer everybody's feedback. Over time, um, you know, I just got kind of used to that. You know, if I wanted to leave, if I was subscribed to one of these gurus or what have you, I'd leave a comment and just keep on going. I started to notice that, um, let's say Diva Extraordinaire would come on one of these uh, uh, YouTube gurus channel and make a comment. And, like, maybe within five to... 30 minutes, I would see this guru answering um, Diva Extraordinaire's question. And Diva Extraordinaire's question could be the same question that um, Shay Shay around the way just asked two um, comments ago. But because it's Diva Extraordinaire, um, the guru decided, okay, let me answer her because, you know, she's kind of, you know, a big shot like myself and I could answer and talk to her. I did notice that. But again, that wasn't something that was new to me or really shocking. Um, so, more and more I got on YouTube, I started seeing clicks here and there. The new thing that I've noticed about clicks here on YouTube, that a lot of people that do not have a lot of subscribers, they're clicking from the start. And what they're doing, and this is just my opinion, they're clicking with each other. They're clicking with other subscribers that have... Um, 
the same interests or close to the same interests as them and um, they may have like maybe 100, 200, something, 300 subscribers and um, the only person that they're really answering is um, these people that they're calling their friends, their YT friends. And they may answer like me or other people, but they'll say, oh, thank you for watching, or something brief. But it, it, it's nothing that like they're going into a full conversation with you. I've also noticed um, with them um, also comes people that um, are groupies, kind of want to be like them. And so, and the way I've noticed those people is in giveaways and contests. You have some people that will give giveaways and contests because um, they want some, um, they want um, new subscribers. I know that's why I do it and also because I like doing giveaways and contests. But the most part, most um, reason for most people to do giveaways and contest is because they want that new subscriber. They want you to, you know, subscribe to them and they want you to recognize their channel. Nothing's wrong with that. We all know that. Nothing's wrong with that. So, and I, and I do it. So, you know, I'm not complaining about that. But I notice that some people do these contests and giveaways, and it's certain people every time they do the contest and giveaway that they will give to. And these same certain people, because I'm subscribed to them, and so I'm watching them, are the people that they're talking to, or they're calling my friend, or they're going on their page, and they're saying, oh, you did a good job, girl, and stuff like this. And I know that because I'm subscribed to that YT person that is their friend that they, they you know, they feel a connection with. And so I'm watching this display. Um... The only problem that I have in that is this. A lot of times, some of these contests and giveaways, in my opinion, should be love mails. Because people are, not all, and this again is my opinion, some people are giving um, their friends and people that they admire or they like um, their contests and giveaway winnings. They already know ahead of schedule that, okay, I'm going to pick this person and I'm going to give it to, the, um, give it to them. But I'm going to do this contest and giveaway because I want more subscribers. And I think that's where it goes wrong. You have some people on here that they want to also be big before them t their time. I was newly subscribed. Um, to this one lady and um, she had asked us as her subscriber to go ahead and subscribe to this other lady that she subscribed to um, it was a young girl and she was saying how sweet she is and how she really likes her channel and if we could just go ahead if we're so inclined to um, go ahead and show the girl some love so I went over there and I was like okay yeah let me go ahead and show um, her some love so I did see like maybe two of the young ladies videos and they're okay you know when you first starting off you don't expect to be the best right out of the box unless you're just used to public speaking so I went ahead and I indulged and I said okay well let me go ahead and subscribe to this young lady no problem so I think a lot of other people felt the same way. They subscribed, and this young lady decided, okay, I'm going to do a giveaway for you guys. And the giveaways didn't last long. They only last a couple of days and what have you. And I thought that was a nice gesture and everything. She did the giveaway, and the person that she did, um, the, um, that won her giveaway, was a very known, a very known YouTuber on here and I like this YouTuber but I kind of felt a certain way and I noticed that I wasn't the only one because a lot of other people who seemed to feel that certain way too um, gave her thumbs down and it was quite a few um, I decided to hold judgment and not say anything even though I kind of felt that way too Shortly after a couple of days, she did another giveaway because she was getting even more subscribers. And again, she picked another you, um, YouTube uh, uh, person. I want to call the person Guru, but they were well known among our, our circle. And she picked them as a winner. And then that's when it kind of clicked on, no, this is too much of a coincidence. Um, 
what she was doing, in my opinion, was trying to get a name for herself very quickly. And what I've learned on YouTube is that, you know, you can get a name for yourself, but you have to work your product. Whatever it is you're trying to sell, are you trying to show people, are you trying to do on here on YouTube, you have to take your time. And people will see how sincere you are, and they'll, they'll judge your sincerity by whether they want to be subscribed to you or not. Um, that was one example. I noticed that after that second video with her, I just go, went ahead and subscribed, unsubscribed, and I noticed a lot of other people unsubscribed to her too. She put a really bad taste in my mouth um, about her, and her videos weren't that bad. She seemed to be like a nice girl, but after that, mm-mm. But yes, I have noticed the clicks a lot here, and especially, like I said, among people that don't have a whole lot of subscribers, and they're very clickish, and what have you. I'm subscribed to one lady that, um, well, let me give you a background. This summer, I have taken the time to get to know a lot of people that um, are subscribed to me, and that I am subscribed to, and I'm loving this journey, because um, for the summer, I was off, so I had the time to do it. And um, it's a um, couple of ladies that I'm always talking to them. I'm always, you know, saying something on their channel. I'm always giving my feedback or my opinion on things. And um, one particular lady, well, it's a couple. It's not even one. It's a couple particular ladies that do giveaway and contests recently. Um, exclusively and I'm always commenting and, and you know and uh, on their videos so I notice other people that are you know constantly commenting on their video and I've noticed that me and those other people that are always commenting, commenting on their video are never the winners and half of the time some of these giveaways and contests I don't even go um, for and I notice that we're never ever the winners it's always people that I hardly ever see comment on her video but they have a certain amount of subscriber uh, subscriber or they have like a talent or a gift uh, um, and then I'll see her, um, the person I'll see a couple of people you know as soon as that person comments they have a whole lot to say so anyway that's just my opinion on the clicks here you don't have to agree but I would love to hear what you guys have to say so until next time cuties I love you stay safe and as always I love I already said I love you goodbye <laughs>